squashed between the mountain slopes and the Atlantic Ocean, these people are literally building precarious homes on the sea. As Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone, grows, it's becoming increasingly difficult for the estimated one and a half million people living there to find a place to stay. For there, I build this it's here I've built my shack house because, because I don't have the opportunity to buy and build one elsewhere. Side, it's here side. I'm managing my life uh, with no problem. Side, manager, live my life. Faced with the housing challenges, impoverished residents have found a solution called banking or building up an area on the seashore on which they can construct a home. But this illegal method comes with great risks. We don't get far there now. Where it's over. 15. We've witnessed We're over 15 fire die. incidents leading some to the loss of lives and houses down. burnt down. Yes. And the flooding then occurs the during flooding the rains back, we can get and during the dry the season. Most season of the drainage so canals are like. blocked with garbage. As I the rain stopped, just not dry season, come. Freetown's population mushroomed during the decade-long civil war when the city was seen as a safe haven. Now one-third of its residents live in slums, many of them in these seafront settlements. So most people we are actually migrating from the rural areas up to Freetown and over time the population of Freetown also increases and that's actually had a whole lot of uh, uh, increasing demand for housing and that's resulted to people actually inhabiting some of these coastal settlements. With rising sea levels due to climate change expected to force millions to move further inland, Freetown's mayor says the solution is to create more economically attractive destinations for people outside the city.